Hi, Timothy Unger here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a transparent background with a nice image in the back on your uh, terminal emulator, if you're using Terminator, and uh, how to get Vim so you have a custom color scheme, but still see that background image, okay? So uh, let's get started, all right? So I have Terminator opened here, and to get the background image in Terminator, what I do is I go to Preferences, and I go to Profiles, and then I set up my regular stuff with the profile, but if you're on Debian 11, this will work. Um, you go to Background, and you're given the option of a transparent background or having a background image. You can pick an image from anywhere. I live in Vail. I take, took some great shots the other day of Vail. So what I did is I went to Pexels and downloaded the image. Anyways, uh, once I downloaded an image from Pexels, I uploaded it here. I probably should take one of those photos I took from Vail, and I use that as a background image, and you can select the amount that you want to shade the background. I shaded it 75%, uh, so if you like what you're seeing on my screen, then maybe 75% is for you. You're going to close this out. It might not show up right away. You might have to shut Terminator down and then open it back up to get this nice background to show. And then uh, you wanna install your color scheme. Now the way I've installed my color scheme is through the uh, built-in plugin system in Vim. So if you do that, what you do is you create a folder called uh, .vim. Within that, you have to have a folder called pack. Now for your plugins, you want a folder, whatever you wanna name that, I named it plugins, and then you have a folder start after that you git clone all your plugins into there. For the color schemes, you're recommended to create a different folder, call it whatever you want, I called it colors. And inside of that, you have to have a folder called opt. And then if I list out, you'll see I have base 16 Vim, Groovebox, and Space Duck as the themes that I've cloned into that folder. So once I do that, I can go back to my home directory, I can open Vim, and you'll see that I can, you know, get a bunch of base 16 different colors, okay? I chose base 16 of Dracula. Now, that's the theme I have right now. Now, if you do that, um, what'll happen is when you start it up with a regular theme, it's not going to show you with a, with a custom theme you install, it's not going to show you this kind of uh, background with the nice image and all that. So you have to put a few file or a few lines in your Vim RC. So I'm going to quit out of here and then go into my Vim RC and I'll show you what lines I had to put. And I have to put these after I pick the color scheme. So I have Colo for color scheme. That's a shorthand Vim uh, version of that. Uh, just Base16-Dracula. That gives me the custom color scheme. And then I have HI for highlight. Normal. Uh, center MBG equal to none. It has to be capitalized. Uh, highlight non-text, uh, sorry, C-T-E-R, uh, M-B-G, I'll leave these lines in the description, equal to none, and I also had to use uh, H-I for highlight, normal GUI background equal to none. Uh, now these are, this works in Vim, this is Vim, not NeoVim, so I haven't tested it yet on NeoVim, um, but those are the three lines to get this nice background in Vim, where you're seeing that nice mountain, or I could put the image I took from Vail the other day and put that in, and I can code away, and I can remind myself one of the reasons I moved to Colorado, which is the Great Mountains, right? So I get that while I'm coding aside or inside in the dark, and it inspires me to get out there, and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, if you've watched this channel, you notice that I, I fool the text editors quite a bit. Uh, I got this working today, and I thought I'd share it with you. If you want to uh, get your setup working. If you have questions, leave comments in the comments below. Um, you know, I hope this is helpful. This is kind of cool. It's going to inspire me to code with that nice mountain in the background or the picture of Vail or whatever. Uh, so uh, anyways, I thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. It really does help the channel grow. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.